A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! <sighs> Shulk! Ah! Right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mech on armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. I love when Crabbles use mech on armor as a... Uh stuff and things. Anyway, so HP gauge was depleted, the character would be incapacitated. If you played RPG, you know how that is. Uh, press, uh, you know, press in the arts and stuff, confirm. Uh, use backslash to deal damage. This is kind of what I was talking about. Well, I'll get that in a second. You know, use light heal to uh, heal. Uh, select who you want to heal and stuff. Simple things. This is what I was kind of talking about with the uh, know your placement. Backslash will obviously deal more damage from behind. That's the name. Backslash. You cannot use the same art repeatedly. There's a, a cooldown to the art, uh, which is, you know, it's kind of a good thing. And so you don't like the spam things, kind of like say the Tales series, where you can just sit there and cast the same art over and over and over and over. So talent arts, uh, talent arts are specific to uh, particular characters. For instance, uh, well, this is talking about filling the talent gauge, which is where auto attacks come to play. So for Shulk, he has uh, this where he inflicts a break, which allows him to be susceptible to topple. Uh, we killed it before we could do anything, so... Enemies will occasionally drop chests, you know, the usual kind of things. Uh, it can range from this wooden kind of chest to a silver one of the same caliber to a gold one, which has neat stuff. The green barrier stops you from escaping. Most of the time you'll see this green barrier with, like, bosses, uh, and various other things. So we have another guy right here. We could easily, you know, just, uh, attack to initiate battle, or we could just do this. There we go. I believe that gives you achievement. So beware of aggro during battle. Aggro is what determines when the enemy is looking at you at what time. The more damage you deal, the, uh, the more likely they will sit there and look at you. Uh, so say like, uh, Ryan uh, dealt a thousand damage, you uh, dealt a thousand five hundred damage, uh, then they'll look at you and how aggro uh, lowers. There we go, got backstabber achievement. But uh, yeah, like the, the way, you know, it, it, uh, aggro is about, uh, the more damage you deal, the way it goes away is by dying or uh, taking it not enough damage. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got it, Shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the Shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. I feel kind of bad because I feel like I was just sort of uh, tripping myself during the tutorial. But this one, follow the arrow to advance the story. Uh, if you played Okami, it's the same kind of thing uh, there. Uh, it just tells you like where plot is and that's uh, like where you need to go and stuff. So we had the uh, thing talk about camera controls. This will tell you how to get into your menu so you can save. 
and a bunch of other things. You can, re you can review tutorials at any time. Uh, further tutorials will be added to your game. So, like right here, we just press the button. And we can listen to my favorite song. Not my absolute favorite, but you know, whatever. So, like, here are all the different uh, tutorials and stuff. If you're ever confused about anything, you can check there. Uh, so, I'm gonna just chess real quick. And we get some uh, good stuff. X, like I said, uh, or like the tutorial said, I didn't say. X will open up your things. You have the map, you have items, you have uh, skills and stuff, party, journal, other, and system. Uh, a lot of that's not really too important right now. So just kind of just kind of keep the X button uh, handy. Just kind of play around with it a little bit. So we have enemies that we can run around and attack. The uh, icon above them tells you what level they're at. I'm not going to delve too deep into that right now. Uh, this time about the Collectopedia. Collectopedia is where you uh, run around item orbs you collect. Uh, you can put them into... Yeah, I'll show it real quick. So here's the Collectopedia. We already have uh, one thing for it. I'm not going to... Uh, why not? Let's go ahead and put it in. But uh, yeah, this is... Uh, you put stuff in, fill in the rows, and you can get neat items. Fill in the entire thing, and you also get a neat item. One is never enough. You're right, it's not. <laughs> That's why I have uh, almost... What? 400 games in my backlog. No, but, uh... But, yeah. Uh, like I was saying, the Collectopedia, kind of, it's a thing where, like, uh, a lot of the side quest type things with this game, and this game is very infinite, infamous, sorry, not infinite, very infamous for the amount of content it has. Uh, don't stress too much about the Collectopedia. You know, like, Colony 9, it granted is the first one. But it's very, very easy to uh, fill in the Clinton Peter. You'll probably do it by accident, but uh, don't stress about it too much right now. Like I said, you get some neat gear from it, but. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right. See you later. Bye, Ryan. I miss you. All right, so we can organize our party. They spelled organize wrong. No, I'm kidding. Visiting the shops. So shops, you can sell things, you can buy things. If you play an RPG, you know how shops are. Accepting quests. This is the main, uh, basically the main bread and butter of this game. There's other words I was going to use. But, uh, quests, you have, uh, random NPCs, like, right there, Assist Defense Force Soldier. You know, just random guys, just, uh, like, just nameless, that have quests for you. Uh, I'll, I'll delve more into the quests later, but just know, there's a lot of quests in this game. Whether I'll cover all of them or not, it's up in the air right now, but... Just know I will talk about that in great detail later. Trading, if you go up and press Y, uh, I think most... Yeah, it's, uh, named individuals will trade with you, so Defense for a Soldier will not trade with you, sadly. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about trading a little bit later. Enjoy quests and, uh, trading alongside the story. Yes, that, that's the main thing, too. Don't stress too much about doing these kind of things, unless you want to, in which case, why? I need to be even so, I should point that out real quick. Uh, one of the uh, main ways you level up this game, just exploring. Like, this game is fantastic for that stuff. Like, see, I'm gaining experience just by walking around town. Uh, but yeah, like, quests and trade, like, see, this guy has a quest, I'm not gonna talk to him right now, I'm gonna... Uh, most quests, uh, and trading, well, not, yeah, most quests and stuff I wanna save for separate videos, while, like, story will be their own. Like, I'm not gonna do it, like, in between in the same parts and stuff, but that, that's just ridiculous. Uh, quests are better, like, organized and stuff, or better when they're organized, not just, like, we slap everything together, because if you do it that way, you're going to get very overwhelmed. It, this game, honestly, with, it has, like, what, a grand total of, and this number is going to probably throw some people off, has a grand number of, like, 480 quests, uh, but don't, don't let that number deter you. A lot of them are very easy to do. Uh, some of them are kind of hassles, but like I said, I'll delve more into it later. I'm kind of uh, trying to be obscure about it. I can feel the power. I can feel the power. 
So discovering landmarks, even though we discovered like four of them on the way. Uh, discovering landmarks are important because whenever you die, you'll go back to, uh, up there. Uh, it'll reward you with XP, find all of them to open, uh, yeah, to make a complete map. So like if we, real quick, go take a look at the area map. You can also uh, double tap, uh, or not double tap, oops. You can also press minus to bring the map up. But you can see we have somewhat like uh, where we have been so far. And if you uh, get all the landmarks, this entire area will be shown, so. I said double tap because I'm playing with the GameCube controller. What the hell are you playing at? Uh-oh. The colonel's gonna explode. Crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform! Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you, and you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir? The impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers! Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. You can't but help- you can't help but love Colonel Vanguard, that's his name. He's just- he's a crazy character. Actually, what happens if I go talk to him? I've never done that before. Yes. Put your backs into it! Get a move on, you maggots! Cool, I peeked the mic. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'll be more careful next time, Colonel. Hello. I will collect the ether cylinders at once, Colonel. Old man. Uh, hey, look, you see Ryan over here. What's up, Ryan? Are you doing uh, push-ups until your biceps explode? Anyways, I wasted time at this point. Let, let's, let's go ahead and head to the destination, which is uh, right on down here. And this marvelous building that is the Weapons Development Lab. And we go right on through, we can see... Hey, that looks familiar. Alright, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> Just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? 
It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. Shulk. the Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. Oh, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dunban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dunban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. And thus we get to play as best girl. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that, but I don't care about your opinion. I love Fiora, and you can't stop me. 
So story quests must be completed, as the name implies, they are story related. Uh, so this is part of the thing of why I say don't stress too much about quests, for the fact that like, 50 or so are story quests and stuff. You can view quests in a quest log, which is right here. You also have a bunch of other things. So we're here at Don Ban's house, as you expect. And up here we have best character, Don Ban. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oops. B is a jump, so sometimes it's kind of weird to get things going. But no, I, I really like Don Ban. He's such a cool character. What's up? Are you taking some food to Shulk? You better hurry up. It won't taste very good once it gets cold. I know it said if it gets cold. I want to read how I want to read. <laughs> I love those pick and fights with no one because that's what I do. No, but anyways, we're going outside. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. Alright, so move towards the story icon quest thing, my bob th thing thing. So you'll see there's the story quest up there. That's usually your indication for some reason. Story quests don't really- no, occasionally they do, but like most of the time there's not really the taxi arrow thing like uh, we had earlier. I'm gonna zoom the camera out a bit. And we can just listen to my favorite song again. I really- okay. Let me real quick take a moment and talk about why I love this theme. It's such a good starting theme. Like it just- it gives you pump because it's telling you there's this massive journey that you're about to take and it just- it has a sense of adventure and I love it. The best example I can give, uh, you know, talking about other songs, is uh, Bean Bean Fields and Mario Luigi Super Star Saga. That's that's just overall a great overall theme, and that's why I, I love Calling Nine for the fact that it like it's telling you this is gonna be a good game. You're gonna have fun, and you're right. I had fun, and I still have fun. I love playing this game. Anyway, so we <laughs> tangent aside, uh, just about at Outlook Park. We're gonna go talk to Shulk. See if, uh, see if he's really feeling the need to eat. I'm gonna just let him chuckle. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a fun journey, and I know I'm the only one who's gonna like it, because everyone else is gonna hate me by the end. 